hackers welcome to the third video of the series chat application using monstack and in this video we'll be creating a custom middleware uh, to authenticate the users and we'll create routes and controllers to create a new chat room so we i have a written version of this tutorial in my blog do check that out link in the description and also do subscribe to get more content like this so let's jump to it mm, so we'll create a new file in the middlewares folder we'll name it author.js we'll export a middleware function so module.exports equal to um, request response and we'll get a next so so what we'll do here is we'll get the token from the user so how we'll get the token so we'll get the authorized generator first um token equal to request dot headers dot authorization dot split we'll split it with this because the token is something like bearer and something 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 like this so we'll split it with the space and get the Get the token and remove the spear so that's this so we need to verify this token so we'll do const payload equal to jwt dot verify okay so first we need to import jwt we require jwt then so let's try this again so we need a token so we'll pass in the token we need a secret so it is process dot env dot secret so that's it and if it works we'll send it to the so we need to catch some errors in this so let me explain you what this part will do so yeah let's do a, put in a wait put in a sync here so what we can do is so here you create uh, you create a token using this payload so when id will get the this object whenever we decode it via the verify method so we'll get the payload over here so this payload contains the id of the logged in user so once we have done that so we need to check if the user has sent the authorization token or not so we'll wrap it in a try catch block mm -hmm. so what we'll do is we'll put this in the try block and what we'll do is we'll check if authorization error is sent or not dot error start authorization is not existing we'll throw an error no forbidden so in the type block, try block we'll what we'll do is we'll just respond to the user message forbidden and let's add an emoji over here so forbidden so yeah that's it so if this verification process also fails we'll send the same message so let's change the status code as well 401 that's unauthorized so what we'll do is we'll set the request dot payload to payload so this is our custom middleware let's try it out so let's create route to create a chat room so chat room dot js so what we'll do is we'll copy paste this let's create a controller file uh, what will we call chat room controller so in this we'll import the chat room controller so now what we'll do is on slash we'll do chat room controller dot create chat room okay so we need to create this one over here so we don't want any users just 
go and create the chat room so we need to add the authentication so what we'll do is we'll import the authentication middleware so middleware's auth so what we'll do is before the user can go to this operation they will have to pass through the auth function so this is the middleware so this will head to this and if this heads to this so whenever the next is called we'll get to the controller so let's create a controller function export start create chat room equal to remember always create a sync as a controller function so that's it so what we can now we can access request.payload.id because we have added request.payload equal to payload that's how we can access it so whenever we need the logged in users id we'll just use it so what we need is const name of the chat room from the request.body so if name is not there we'll throw an error name is required so we can even skip this process because we already have the validation in the model uh, see so the name is required so what we'll do is we'll create a new chat room so create the chat room model so const mongoose equal to require mongoose so again what we'll do is we'll create a chat room model equal to mongoose dot model chat room that's it so we'll create chat room new chat room so what we'll pass in is we'll pass the name and that's it so you can skip this process like this we can make it even simplified by just putting the requested body over here but I don't prefer this because it's bad for readability. So this is how we'll be doing. So we'll await chatroom.save. So rest objection will pass the message uh, chatroom created. So we can also do an, another validation. Uh, cons chatroom access. Access equal to uh what else? so let's add a validation like this const name regex equal to we want from a to z a to z and that's and a space that's what we want the users to keep their chat room name so if a user types a name like this it will not work it should have alpha name, alphabetic name so that's it if if this test fails fails we'll throw an error uh, chat room name can contain only alphabets so if you guys haven't checked out my regex tutorial you can check it i will put the link in the description <laughs> that will help a lot to understand stuff like this so now what we can do is if the name is already there in the database we don't want to register it again so const chat room access equal to chat room dot find one name and we'll await this this is a promise so if chat room exists throw chat room with that name already exists so so we have created the routes we have created but one thing is left we haven't registered the route for the app so app did use chat room and we'll import the chat room route so that's it and we are ready with the chat room api let's try it uh, go to the register so i need to get the access token so i'll just call a login endpoint again 
so let's see the body this is the proper body and I think we should get a token I, oh I haven't started the server sorry <laughs> So yeah, I've got the new token. So let's try to create a chat room. So it's post request on chat room. So what we want is from your input is okay. So we just need to pass the name. Name okay chat room. So let's create it and we'll get to error because we haven't passed the access token. So what we need to do is authorization. We'll need to type bearer and we need to pass the token now. So now I should be able to create the chat room. Yes, I have created the chat room. Let's see if we have the chat room in the database. Mm, the compass is quite slow. So yeah, we have it. We try to create the same chat room again. Chat room with that name already exists. That's a good news. So let's try to add some numbers and I think it won't work. Chat room name can only contain alphabets. So guys, that's it. That's for this video. Keep subscribed. Keep yourself subscribed for more content like this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.